Wagwan people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana and if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe now. Do not continue watching this video before you subscribe because I am not giving away any free information. So you need to go and subscribe. You're seeing me in my glasses so you know what that means. I am back with another business video. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so as you guys know, we're all going through a pandemic, which means that most of us are experiencing lockdown. We are at home, probably not working, if we are not essential workers, that is. And so most of us are wondering, how can I be making some money in this time? Because obviously, we can't survive unless we have a source of income coming in. So um, oftentimes persons may consider starting a business but then they'll be like oh I need to wait until I have a certain amount of money saved or I need to wait until um, I can afford to buy products to start selling or stuff like that. So I am here with this video basically to show you that you can definitely start a business with absolutely no money. That's right, no money at all. So. If you are interested in doing this, then I suggest you continue watching this video. business the first thing that you will need is to establish what the business is so of course if you have a skill and that is what you want to make your business based off then it may be a service skill so for example if you're going to be doing graphics work for people or if you're going to be fixing computers and phones then obviously you're providing service for money so that is the type of business that you'd be going into if you can do things such as craft work sewing crocheting and all that then obviously you can make things and sell them so that is also another type of business that you can go into so once you have established the type of business that you want to do the next step is to get your business out there and in order to do that you will definitely need a business name that is very important because obviously what are people going to refer to you as you need a business name so after getting your business name another thing that you need is your logo most people might think that a logo is not necessarily important but trust me if you want to grow your business and if it's not just something that you want to do all on the side just a little thing to keep a little change coming in your pocket and you definitely want to take it seriously and you want to be taken seriously then you will need a logo for those of you who do graphic design then of course that's nothing for you you can simply get your logo done yourself and um, for those of you who do not do that then obviously it would be good to get a graphic designer to get you a logo and one website that i can definitely recommend is fiverr on that website you can get any graphic design work done that you wish so you can go ahead and browse through see what graphic designers you'd like to work with and you can have your logo done at a very very low cost in addition to that there is also or there are also pages on instagram that do offer logo designs and they are at a low cost as well so you can go ahead and even search a hashtag graphic designers or hashtag logo maker or whatever and then you'll be able to find them i do not suggest using those like generated logos on the internet and stuff like that simply because um just like you would be doing that other people might be doing the same thing and then you'd end up having similar logos to other people and the logos that they generate aren't necessarily unique ones that speak to your business in particular they're just like some random images so yes i would not suggest that i would suggest actually getting your logo done you will not regret it and it is something that you can have to use as you grow with your business as well so so far you have established what kind of business you want to do you have decided on your business name and you have gotten your logo created the next thing that you need to do is to get your business a physical space on the internet so in order to do this you will need to create an Instagram page a Facebook page and if you wish a website 
So I would normally start off with an Instagram page simply because Instagram is such a big platform for businesses these days. You have so many people using Instagram daily and it's a really great way to get your business out there and to get new clients. So once you have your Instagram page, you can go ahead and start promoting your page and grow your business based on Instagram. And similarly, you can do the same with Facebook. And if you do both of them, double the chances of growing your business. So that is something that you will need to do. As it relates to a website, not everyone in my opinion needs a website. It really depends on the type of business that you are doing. Obviously, if you're trying to sell stuff, like sell physical items that require shipping and all that, then a website would definitely be a good investment. But it also depends on where your customer base is. For example, I know when I was starting my business in Jamaica, I had a website. Well, I didn't have one all along, but when I did um, get a website, nobody would use my website. Everybody would rather to DM me to make purchases. And obviously because most persons aren't really able to purchase on websites either because they probably don't have a bank card that can do that or anything so some of them would rather to just do like a bank deposit so I know there are lots of other ways of payments that people normally prefer so it really depends on where your customers are and basically if you think that Okay, so in the case that you do decide that you want to get a website, then obviously you need to look at sites such as Wix, Shopify, uh, what's it called? Squarespace, yeah. You can look at those. Those are just a few of the website builders that you can use and you will need to pay a monthly fee. Currently, I use Shopify because it's really easy to use and it can be integrated into your Instagram account. So that is one thing that I really loved about using Shopify and that is why I chose to use that one, but it is really up to you. The website fees range from maybe $19 to about $25. That's really most of what you need to be done. You need to do. Like, if you have a skill, you have something that you can do, there's no reason why you cannot make money from it. Especially now that we're all at home, we're not working, we have so much free time on our hands, we can definitely go ahead and start making money from our skills. So, for those of us who may not necessarily have a skill, if it is that you have a platform or a fan base on social media maybe even instagram your opportunities are endless there is so much money that is to be made from this platform there are so many businesses that are on instagram as well who do not have similar platform and they will pay you to post um pictures or flyers from their businesses just to get persons to follow their businesses it's as simple as that excuse me it is as simple as that. You can charge maybe even $20 per post if you want to charge more, that's fine. If you have a fan base, and even if you don't have a fan base, then you can go ahead and do affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is where most websites or businesses would be giving you a link that you can get your followers and families to use in order to make a purchase with them and then they will pay you a percentage whenever they get a purchase from your link. That is something that you can definitely do if you have a fan base. The chances are definitely high for you to get persons to follow the link and to make purchases or if you don't have a fan base and you have loads of friends that might be interested in a particular product or a particular site then you can go ahead and share your link with them and have them follow that link so that is definitely something to consider so another thing i want to talk to you guys about is drop shipping drop shipping is such a wonderful tactic if you ask me imagine starting a business and selling a product that you have not even got <laughs> in your possession but you are able to sell something that you don't have like genius <laughs> isn't it but um i will say that there are a lot of risk with job shipping and there are a lot of steps that you need to take before you start doing this so if you're going to drop ship a product, for example, say you're going to sell um, shoes, 
for example. So you don't have the shoes in stock, but you post them for sale, maybe on Instagram or maybe on a website. So once the person purchases one of your shoes, then you in turn go ahead and order the shoes from the actual site that sells it, and then you can have them ship the shoes directly to your customer. So the shoes does not come to you, it goes straight from the, sale, the vendor to your customer and the money comes to you and goes to the vendor. So that is basically how the dropshipping process works. However, you must be mindful that you don't want to be sending products to your customers that you have never seen. Though you don't have it in stock, you want to go ahead and order sample orders so that you will know the quality of the items that that vendor has, the quality of the item that you are expecting your customers to get. So you will need to do a test order or if possible, if the vendor is somewhere that might have a physical space that you can actually go to and see the products that you are purchasing, that is brilliant. Go ahead and do that. So what persons oftentimes do when they're doing dropshipping is that they might contact the vendor and let them know that, okay, please do not include the price for this item and please do not include maybe your company name in the packaging. So that is something that persons definitely do. So of course, when you're dropshipping, you will obviously need to be making a profit. So say, for example, the shoes on the vendor's site is $10. So you might post it on your Instagram page or on your website for $15. And then when your customer gives you that $15, you keep $5 and then you give $10 to the vendor for the shoes and they will send the item to the customer. That is basically how it works and how you would make money from it. So there are loads of things that you can, loads of products that you can sell through dropshipping, whether it be clothes, shoes, hair, bags, anything you can think of. Once there's a market for it, you can dropship it. So what you need to be mindful of though is that the vendor is somewhere close to you, which would be a lot better that way. Um, the shipping time won't be like too long. So for example, if your vendor is in China, I wouldn't normally recommend that simply because by the time it gets to the customer, that's going to probably take months. So obviously you're going to lose that customer. You're going to have a lot of issues for each order that you get. So I wouldn't recommend vendors that are too far away from you. I would suggest using local vendors. So for those of you who are interested in starting a t-shirt line or would want to do it but don't think you have enough money right now in order to start it because you need to purchase loads of t-shirts, you need to pay a graphic designer for all the design. And you have do so many things on the t-shirt that you do not have the money to do right now trust me you are absolutely wrong you can start a t-shirt line today with absolutely no money there are platforms such as printify and printful those are the two most popular t-shirt lines well t-shirt platforms that you can go ahead and put your design and have a t-shirt printed. So what you could do is to upload your design on these platforms and they'll give you like a mock-up of what your t-shirt would look like once the print is complete. You could take these pictures, you could integrate the Printify and Printful with your Shopify even. If you have a Shopify website, I would suggest getting one. You can integrate it and then you can actually have pictures of what the design would look like on your website. Persons can go ahead and purchase these t-shirts once a purchase has been made. You can go ahead and have the shirt printed with either Shop, um, Printify or Printful, whichever one you choose to use. And once they have it printed, then they'll go ahead and send it to your customers. So basically, you're drop shipping with t-shirt design. So yeah, that is definitely something that you would, should consider. If you would like, you can go ahead and put your own design on the shirts. If you are good at graphics, you can also go ahead and do that yourself. Or you can get a graphic designer to work with that might be able to help you out by providing the designs. You can have them printed and you guys can share the profits. If that is something that you'd be interested in doing, maybe you have a best friend who is a graphic designer, then you guys can go ahead and do that together. So 
as we all know, during the pandemic, most persons are not able to leave their homes, or maybe they can leave their homes but are fearful of doing so, then how about you make light of the situation by offering to purchase their groceries? What you can do is set up your platform as usual on Instagram or if you want to do it on Facebook, if you want to do both, that's fine. You can go ahead and set up your platform and offer the service of buying and delivering groceries for persons. So they can go ahead and pay you, send you what Ever the list send you a list of whatever they may need you can go ahead and have those groceries purchased and then you can take it to their homes that is definitely a business idea to consider because one very important thing about entrepreneurs is that they like to solve problems so if you see a problem that is currently going on like this pandemic for example you can definitely step in and see where it is that you can actually solve a problem where you can actually make money during this time by providing persons with something that they do not currently have and that is why you have so many persons that may be selling masks at the moment selling hand sanitizers at the moment selling things that are related to this pandemic because that's what entrepreneurs do they think how can I solve a current problem so you can definitely go ahead and set up a grocery service and that would definitely be solving a problem in this time these ideas are not something that are going to make you a millionaire anytime soon or to make you wake up the next morning and get rich get rich quick or anything of that sort but it is definitely something that you can do right now that will get some money into your pocket during this time it is definitely something that you would like to consider any one of these options that you think may best suit you or if you want to try multiple of these options multiple ones that is completely fine the more money the better right you just go ahead and do that lip gloss mm. this lip gloss <laughs> smells just like strawberry like you just want to eat it like literally if you have not gotten your lip gloss from my site yet then i don't know what you are waiting for go ahead and get it now are just a few ideas of things that you can do during the pandemic that you can start a business from with absolutely no money so let us get rid of the notion that oh you need to save or you need to have so much money in order to start a business because that is nonsense you can definitely start a business today with no money at all so definitely go ahead and consider or try these don't even consider don't even think about it because when you think you just sit and you think about it that is time spent that you could have been starting if you guys would like me to go through exactly step by step how you can have a business started whether with money or without money whatever type of business it may be you can go ahead and let me know in the comment section if i should do that video as well oh my god my hair is so cute let me come close Mm. oh and by the way i am wearing my lashes these are available on my website and this is the style kiki of course because they are my absolute favorite ones yes so you can go ahead and purchase these lashes today they are only eight dollars on my website and don't forget to get yourself a lip gloss this is my um girl boss exclusive lip gloss and this is a strawberry scented flavor it is mm, you just want to eat it really when you smell it it's that good so go ahead and purchase your lip gloss and your lashes today don't forget i have hair on sale on my website as well as clothes accessories waist trainers everything just go on my website link is down in the comment section and don't forget to support your girl so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe comment like and share turn on your post notifications so that you can see whenever i post and that is the bell down below just go ahead and click it right there yes thank you so don't forget to tune in to my next videos because i do oftentimes post videos such as these where you can learn about business and loads of other things so until next time guys